Now that deer season is over, many hunters will be looking for a taxidermist to help display their trophy bucks. In Mackenzie's latest outdoor adventure, she found a local taxidermist to show her how many hours go into mounting a white-tailed deer. Taxidermy requires a lot of patience and a steady hand. Clint Hunt has been a taxidermist for about five years. I'm putting glue on here and I'm going to tuck the mouth. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's something I enjoy and it's, I can stay home. I can work for myself. I can make my own hours. It's a long, tedious process and most taxidermists like Clint have racks waiting to be finished. It's not just a turn around and have it done the next day. Uh, to do a good job on one deer, if I was solely working on one deer, it would take two weeks or longer. And I try to get more than one deer going at once. Clint says when a client drops off an animal, it usually takes him about a year to finish the mount. He says he loves to see the look on their faces, especially kids. Now that's a big one. Woo! When I drop off a deer to a kid or something, I've, had, I've seen kids cry. I dropped one off to a kid about four or five years ago. I told him I'd have it done by Christmas just for them for a Christmas present. And they didn't realize I was bringing it to them and they saw it in the back seat and they had tears in their eyes. You have to do semi right turn. Okay, semi right turn. Thank for Chance Caldwell and his boys, finding a good taxidermist is all about trial and error. He says mounting a deer is all about preserving the memories. Regardless if these deer were big, small, um, they can look back at the very first deer they ever shot and said, hey, that's where I started at. It's, it's really special knowing that they, when they have their cousins over or their friends over, they can say, hey, look, look, look what I got. And maybe it, it'll help them guys say, hey, we want to go with you. Tillman County Game Warden Jeremy Brothers says taxidermists are not regulated by the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation, so it's important to do your research before choosing one. It's best to stay with someone that you either personally know or you get recommendations from and make sure you have receipts that you get from them, don't just go there and give them money and leave your animal. A lot of these people put two, three years into one deer. You spend all this money feeding it, the whole nine yards, choose a good taxidermist, or it's not gonna last a lifetime on your wall. Clint says he's thankful for the relationships taxidermy has helped him create. You meet a lot of people that uh, you grow a bond with. I've met a lot of people that I've never known in my lifetime, and I know them to this day, and we talk monthly, just, you know, we call each other just to talk. To find a taxidermist near you, you can contact your local game warden for a recommendation. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Mackenzie Burke.